Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am sorry I've not uploaded a video for a while. <laughs> it's been nearly two weeks now. Um, but there is a little explanation for that. I've been in hospital, I've had an operation, um, recovery and then catching up with clients for time off and then my little girl being poorly and off school. So yeah, I've had a bit of a nightmare the last few weeks <laughs> but I'm back and i want to say hi to everybody and i've missed you all and yay we finally got a video up so this is my gorgeous regular client katie she's come back in after four weeks so we've just gone back and done a full infill and redesign so everything that i use if you're new to my channel is um, by the brand cjp my absolute favorite ever that i've ever ever used and i think i will use this forever marvellous. So I'm using the one monomer, I'm using um, my Liz Guild brush, my absolute favourite. I've already gone in and removed the previous design and I've infilled all of the nails in crystal glass clear acrylic. After all the usual prep, I filed them up into sort of shape and now I'm going in with design. So the two colours I'm using on the pinky to ombre is Orchid and I'm sure this is charcoal. It's a very, very dark grey with lots of glitter in it. It's either that or black diamonds. This is Black Magic by CJP. So with darker colours, it is so hard to get them really nice and neat. So my little trick is to drain the liquid out of the back of your bead once you've picked it up. That way you don't end up flooding the cuticle and your liquid, there's so much pigment in black, your liquid will literally be like like dirty paint water if it goes on the skin or if there's too much liquid in your brush as soon as you place it on the nail it's gonna sort of bleed all around the cuticle skin leaving a lovely disgusting mess so <laughs> if you drain the back of your bead and you place it and tuck it in a little bit away from the cuticle it should be fine so I always start at the cuticle area with a full colour nail and then go in at the free edge and then pull backwards over to create um, the nice opacity that I want. So I'm just adding another little bead right at the free edge and then pulling back towards the cuticle, smoothing it over the other beads. Now, as you can see, I didn't wipe off my brush and I've gone in to neaten up the sides. It's touched the skin. I've whipped it off quickly though. But that's where you can go so wrong with black. It is a pain in the arse. So <laughs> I'm going to cap all of these nails in crystal glass once I've finished. Uh, but now I'm just adding some design. So I'm using a CJP glitter from the Time to Shine range. There are over, I think there's 250 glitters now that uh, CJP have released. And many more to come, I think. They are unbelievable. These are the raw glitters in the little tube pots. Well, they're not little, the 10 mil, so they're quite big. Um, this is Pinkie Pie. So she's a beautiful metallic multi-cut chunky glitter. And I love my chunky multi-cuts. They are beautiful. They look like glass in the nail as well, especially Captain Crystal glass. It is literally like glass. Beautiful. So I'm just whacking some of that in there. I've also tapped a little bit of Silver Hollow, which is a premix glitter from CJP, over the top of the Pinkie Pie just to add a bit of extra dimension and a little bit of shine. So on the middle finger, I'm going in with Storm. This is a beautiful grey acrylic premix colour acrylic from CJP. So we're going to go in with the marble. So I've gently applied a very thin wet layer sort of towards the cuticle just to get that nice coverage and then I've added some black magic and some orchid, some charcoal and a bit more storm. So I'll keep going with all the colours, very wet, very small beads and then give them a little swirl with my brush. The only thing I can recommend with doing marble with black in them is to use very tiny beads of black because it will overtake all your other colours, <laughs> which uh, I've not done a black marble for ages. So I was trying to like sort of cover the big black splodges everywhere, as you'll see in a minute. So just keep playing with it until you're happy. And then I'm sure I had some metallic fine pink glitter in this as well just to give the marble a little bit of extra 
extra pizzazz. So anyway, on the pinky, when I've done the black and pink ombre, um, the ombre isn't fantastic because I'm going to cover the whole nail in uh, mesh. It's like a, a rosy pink metallic mesh. And I'm going to cover the whole nail with it. You'll see it later on and I'll go through it all and how I do it. And that's going to be encapsulated. So I wasn't too bothered about the ombre underneath because it's going to be totally covered. So I just wanted a pop of each colour under the nail and you'll see the effect at the end. So yeah, I'm just tapping in some nice metallic pink glitter. There we go. So just to break up the dark bits where I've gone a bit crazy with the black. I always put glitter through marbles anyway, but this is a great way of sort of hiding any imperfections or adding a little colour to where you think you've gone too dark when you marble with black. So just tickling it around where I want it. And then again, once I've finished and let all of these nails dry, I'll encapsulate with clear acrylic. So again, to tie in with the last glitter that we've done, I'm just going to pop tiny little pieces of silver hollow. It just has it adds a, like a bit it, because it's hollow, holographic. It's um, it's more eye catching. It does drag your attention more to the nail. It hits different lights and it looks beautiful. So I'm I'm gently tapping little bits of this on, making sure not to cover all the pink. And again, just using the very tip of the brush to tickle where I want it. Very intricate. I don't want to just dollop a load of glitter on. You've got to be sort of a little bit more precise with it in marble. So on the index finger, I'm going to go in with a full nail of black diamonds, I think this is. Or is it charcoal? I'm really, I can't, because I did these a while ago. I'm so sorry. Um, I think it's black magic. Yeah, black magic. It's too dark for charcoal. So black magic is, no, not black magic, it's black diamonds, sorry. Yep, there's definitely glitters in there. Black diamonds is absolutely stunning. It's a black acrylic, uh, coloured acrylic with loads of silver shimmer through it. Gorgeous for the little black dress. Seasons like coming up for Christmas now. This is going to get used loads, I just know it. So again with the full colour, I'm going at the cuticle first and then I'm going at the free edge and pulling back towards the cuticle, making sure everything's nice and smooth. And I have only left one hand in this because I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you how I encapsulate all of my netting. And um, yeah, so I didn't want it too long. Not for my first one back. I didn't want to sit boring you all. <laughs> so on the thumb, we're going to do... I'm not sure what I did on this one actually. We'll just go with it. So how gorgeous is this colour orchid? She's beautiful. So again with a nice medium sized bead I'm placing it right behind the cuticle and I'm using the very tip of my brush to sort of pat and press and drag into place and then I'm going to pull the rest of the product down the nail. I'm sort of tapping it at the same time so I'm sort of moulding it, sculpting it. This is why I love CJP because it's not running, it's not a wet, oh, disastrous product where it just floods everywhere. It literally stays where you put it. It's like, when I first started using CJP I described it as like a mouldable, very soft play-doh. <laughs> that makes sense it is like it basically it goes where you put it and with the mon one monomer it is oh, it really is good it doesn't set until you stop playing with it and then it sets up really good and quick so for them really quick sets that you need a bit of time with the good it's good yeah full nail of orchid on this i think i do a glitter fade maybe this is pinky pie so I basically just pick up a tiny little bead of crystal glass clear acrylic and then I dip into my raw pot of glitter. I decanted these because I'm in tubes and um, just into the lid. I need to clear my throat. <coughs> Excuse me, sorry. 
Yeah, so I think I grab a little bit of um, Silver Hollow as well on this. Do I or do I just have Pinkie Pie? My camera really struggles with picking up like the, um, the shine on glitter. I don't know why it glares, it makes it sort of go out of focus. Yeah, so a tiny bit of Silver Hollow just to keep in with the theme of all the glitters that we've used. Yeah, so this is the glitter vein. Love a sparkly film. That silver hollow really does set it off though. But you can still see all that metallic pink underneath, which is really pretty. I could literally play with glitter all day like this. I love it. I'm like a magpie. So tickling around again with the tip, just making sure I've got a nice fade and I've not got any sort of harsh lines across the nail. I want that sort of feathered up so it looks like she's just dipped her finger in, in glitter. Yeah, that's definitely black diamonds. You can see it when it's dry. So I've left a little bit of um, design in here with netting. So if you can see at the back, that's the netting. It's like a really, this one's from Angie Bond at um, Angel Glitter Mats. She's got her own website up and running now, which is fantastic. Beautiful website, loads of goodies on there for nail art and things like that. So if you don't know who I'm talking about, she's on Facebook as well. Go check her out. So I'm encapsulating this, it's quite stiff, I'm, I'm not sure, I've forgotten what it's called. Um, I think it's either fairy netting, oh god I'm useless, I'm not sure. If somebody wants to know what this is, I will get the name for it and I will let you know. So yeah, when I encapsulate um, anything like that, I use a very thin layer of clear acrylic. And I'll basically just paint it on over the entire nail, making sure there's not too much so it doesn't all squash out the sides and go all over the skin. And then I grab the piece of netting, and this is quite stiff, so you've got to be quite careful with it. So give it a tiny press with your brush, it's not going to do much to be fair, so that's why I use the plastic bag, because it really does help stick the entire thing to the nail. So when I'm pressing it either side, it's going to start sticking and setting. And then once it's all dry, it takes a few minutes, I've sped this up obviously, just make sure you know when it's sort of set, make sure to get all your edges really sort of stuck down as well. That plastic bag is excellent because acrylic doesn't stick to it, it's like a nail form sort of material so you're not going to have acrylic stuck all over the plastic bag either, it just peels straight off. So yeah, I thought I'd go in and show you a little bit of my encapsulation process because I don't think I've ever done this. So nice medium to large beads and starting at the cuticle and I do work slightly wetter with my product when I'm capping just so that I get that really glassy effect with the clear. If you use your beads too dry when you're capping you can cause them sort of white clouds and bubbles and things like that. It sort of distorts your, your final look so yeah use them a little bit wetter. And then gently pat down the entire nail, capping until you get to the free edge. So when you're capping netting like this, just be very mindful to get all around the edges because as soon as you start filing, you're going to start filing away that design. You don't want that. So even if it looks bulkier, it's better to have enough product on there than not enough because you don't want to file away any of that design. It doesn't even look like I've put anything on that nail. Seriously, crystal glass is amazing. <laughs> it is the clearest clear acrylic I've ever used. So I basically paint my clear acrylic on shorter sets like this. I do usually walk them down the nail if they're a longer set. Ah, oh, we did a full, yeah, I'm showing you the other hand now. Um, we did a full netting on this with a full glitter underneath on top of orchid. So with a full netting again like on a thumb, a nice big sort of medium to large bead. Place it all around the cuticle and tap 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 it. Gently pushing down. 
you sort of eliminate air bubbles by doing this. You don't want to play with it and mess with it too much because that's when you create them. So pulling and pressing. Oh, look at that in one bead. Lovely. With this girl brush as well. I'm not even using my big boy. I'm quite impressed with that. Well done, Anne. <laughs> you know when you forget what you've done because I've not watched this video for ages. <laughs> Okay, so we've filed and we've done all that good stuff. I've shaped all the nails up, buffed them, got rid of all the dust with my little dusty brush. Now I'm going in with CJP Tack Free Top Gloss. And it is super shiny, it's beautiful. So yeah, I'm just going to top coat all of the nails and let them cure in my LED light for 60 seconds. And then let this top coat cool down before you apply your key to coil. Because otherwise you lose that beautiful shine. Just let them sit out in the air and cool for about a minute and then pop your cute coil on just to finish off that set and yeah I've left pictures at the end guys so you can have a look at the final result and again as always thank you so much for watching my videos I promise I will get more uploaded but <laughs> Christmas is coming <laughs> Christmas is upon us and I'm scared it is my busiest month of the year so if I don't get to um, get a few more uploads before Christmas, I will, I really will, I really will try. If not, I'll have loads in January. <laughs> so I will make up for it, I promise. But once again, thank you so much for watching my video, guys, and I hope to see you all in my next one. Have a lovely December. I hope it's not too stressful for you all. And yeah, I'll see you in my next one. Bye.